Now that's a lot of meat. Welcome back to the Tacoma Holic channel, everybody. Got a few thousand miles on my Yokohama Geolander MTs, the 35 inch or metric equivalent. So it is a perfect time to do a tire rotation. Got a wheeling trip this weekend, so excited to test out the new spare, I guess. I will be doing this with a full size spare, so it is a five tire rotation, which I think I did a video for before on a first gem, but never done it with 35. So today it's just gonna be a bare bones, show you quickly what needs to be done. You have chosen wisely. And one quick announcement, new Tacomaholic windshield decal available, picture on the screen now in blue and silver, $30, low price shipped within the United States. Check one out, link in the description below. Okay guys, so one of the cool things about doing a five tire rotation obviously is to extend the life of all of your tires, and when you're talking about mud terrains, you definitely want to squeeze as many miles out of them as possible. The other thing is you don't have to take all the tires off at once like you would if you want to make it easier if you're doing a four tire rotation because you have that extra spare so you can literally just do it a corner at a time. Now, if I'm being perfectly honest, I took all the tires off just to capture this sweet thumbnail. Okay guys, here is a quick side-by-side -side comparison. Obviously unsprung, got the new tire here on the right side of the screen, old tire on the left. Now these only have about 4,000 miles on them, so that not that much of a difference, and just eyeballing them, I mean, they look identical to me. This one looks a little compressed, I think just because this one has never had weight on it. So. Okay guys, and the method I will be using, I will be taking the brand new full-size spare and replacing the passenger rear. I will take the passenger rear tire and replace it with the passenger front. And going around to the other side, I will take that passenger front tire and replace it over here on the driver rear. Take the driver rear, move it up to the driver front, and that driver front tire right here will be my new full-size spare. And before I actually get started, it is a perfect time to check the torque specs on my three-quarter inch Boris spacers here. If you did not know, I did a whole install video for these linked right above. I installed these just to keep the tires from rubbing the top of my shock right here at full stuff. And with the truck back on the ground, got the lug nuts hand tight. Gonna go ahead and torque all the lug nuts in a star pattern to 87 foot pounds. Click. And gotta love that cockeyed stance you always get anytime you jack your truck into the air. All right, everybody, got the tires torqued down. Did a quick test drive first because it instantly gets rid of that weird cockeyed thing you get with the front tires, which drives me crazy. But don't worry, that's easily fixed. And after I take any of the tires off, I always like to drive around the neighborhood, put a few miles on the truck in like a more controlled, close to home environment, just to make sure I didn't forget anything. And of course, got it up to about highway speed to make sure tire was still balanced. Everything good to go. I did have to put about six extra PSI in the spare tire because it's been sitting on my deck, I don't know, for about six months now. So don't forget to do that as well. As always, thank you so much for supporting the channel by watching this video. Enjoy the rest of your week, and I'll see you in the next video.